2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. It's great to have you with us as we begin our coverage of this tournament. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth. And on course, we've got John McCarthy. Hi, Luke. Great to be here. Can't wait to bring you guys all the action from down on the course. This is going to be a lot of fun. Quality shot, that one. Time for the second shot into the first. Going with the 9-9, I think. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Outside chance here for the birdie. Uh, didn't quite hit it, did you? 11 feet to the cup. This one's online. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. Starting the round at even par. Time to tee off at the second. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. That should find the bunker. And from the bunker here. Smart shot, always back into the fairway as a safe play. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. We need this one to bounce right. And he's safely on the green with that shot. This one's for birdie. It's always good to cozy it up to the hole on a long putt, isn't it? Yep, well done. And that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one headed left and not coming back. Well, a little off the target with that one. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Well, that's a handy shot. Big par saver coming up for this fella. Good putt, that. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. Not a bad line, this one. Time for the second shot here at the fourth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Good shot there. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. He's got around 23 feet to go uh, for this putt. All good putters accelerate through the ball. That will drive you bats. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Trailing by four strokes. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game.
Going with the five iron here. Needs this one to kick right. Yeah, nicely played. And this putt to move into the top 20. Okay, steady now. Par putt coming up here. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the pace. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Outside chance here for the par. Let's take a look. You know what they say, never up, never in. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes, and it seems so in this case. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Sitting at one over for the event. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. Beautiful swing there. Second shot here on the seventh. Is this one heading into the sand? Now man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, shouldn't have too much trouble getting out of here, fellas. It's ended up in a pretty decent lie, all things considered. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. If that's the right pace. This should drop. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And that putter's hold, and that means it's back-to-back -back bogeys, unfortunately. Two bogeys in a row. Never a good sign. Now playing a little defensively. Sitting at a couple over for the day. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Choosing the nine iron here. This one might roll into the rough. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? A bit short with that effort.
And that's a good looking shot there. This putt's about four feet from the hole. And in it goes for the par. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Luke, this is the spot where you either fail or shine. And I got to say, nine holes left to put themselves in the top 50 to make it on the Corn Ferry Tour. Failing is definitely an option for this player. Sitting at two over for the day. Opting for the 9-9. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Nice stroke. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Sitting at a couple over for the event. Teeing off here at the 11th. Yeah, it's heading to the bunker for sure. Well, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. Getting ready to play their third. Going with the hybrid. Uh-oh, this one's out, heading towards the rough. Time now for the fourth shot. Not your best effort, still a mid-range putt coming up. This putt is about eight feet. Ooh. And this one will be for bogey. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the 12th. Opting for the three wood. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Not taking enough club to get it there. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, absolutely flushed. And this putt coming up for his par. Well hold. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Oh, hate it when you hook it that bad. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker.
And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, that was left all the way off the club. Yep, that shot safely on the green. 15 feet to the cup. Ooh, right by the hole. And this one is for his par. Good looking putt. Nicely hold, and for par. Our current leader is enjoying a two stroke lead. Here we are in front of a par three. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Ah, it's a little wayward. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. And that's well played. Safely onto the putting surface. This one's looking good. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. And a nice, tidy save from the greenside bunker. Nice par. Sitting at three over for the event. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Oh, well played. Second shot here on the 15th. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Yeah, well played. Putting for birdie. This is a good chance. Ah, that's frustrating. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. That should find the cut stuff. from about 100 yards. Going with the nine iron, I think. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. But not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. And he holds it. What a putt. And stepping up the standings after that effort. This hole is a par three. Luke, coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Now eight shots back after that hole. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18th. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway.
getting ready to play their third. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Four left. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Ooh. And with that, this player has finished their Q School final. But Rich, unfortunately, they didn't manage to make it to that all-important top 50 and won't be able to advance to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. However, on their side is the opportunity to do it all again next year. The player is going to have a rough go of it for another year until they can get back and hopefully get into the Corn Ferry Tour Championships. A fair bit of soul searching, I would imagine. There's going to be a lot of searching for, <laughs> for your game a little bit. I mean, you're going to be traveling, living on the road full time. It's not easy nor fun, but it can and hopefully will make this player better in the future. Well, Rich, an absolutely delightful day. Pleasure to share it with you and everyone watching at home. Luke, always a pleasure, my friend. Until next time. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now. <laughs>